Duke of Edinburgh is the world's leading youth achievement award, recognised by colleges, universities and employers across the globe. It's a program that covers four different areas and helps students to develop new skills, develop their character strengths, get the chance to help others through volunteering, work in a team as part of their expedition and improve your independence. So what do you have to actually do? So as I said, there are four sections. The first section, which students really get so much out of, is the volunteering aspect. And this must be young person led. That means they should be the ones to organise the volunteering and arrange what they do. It must be for a charity or a not for profit. So students can't volunteer at a local place of business. The next section is the skills section. Again, young person led. So it might be that students attend another part of our twilight program, learning a language, for example, or they might decide to learn a new instrument or they might decide to increase the grade at which they're playing at on an instrument, for example. But it really is about learning something new and the scope of skills that students can choose is really quite is really considerably wide. The physical section is about encouraging young people to be active and really any sport, dance or type of fitness will qualify in this section. The final section, perhaps the most well-known section, is the expedition, which we use a company called E3 to guide students on both their training day and their assessed expedition. The time requirements of these sections does vary. A minimum of three months for the volunteering skill and physical sections, with one of them being for six months. And for each of those areas, the expectation is that the time commitment is sustained over one hour periods across each week. So you couldn't condense it into a short four hour session on a Saturday, for example. There are some exceptions, though these are very rare exceptions where the cost or access to the particular skill or physical activity is inhibitive. But essentially students should be aimed to doing these things a minimum of one hour a week. Students can choose which of the three, volunteering skill or physical, is their six month activity. The expedition does take place over a weekend and the training day is usually on a Sunday. Some ideas for volunteering. So some of our students have done these things in the past. Uh, park run in Haywards Heath, very popular. Students have assisted with the timings and getting the event going each week. Quite a few of our students often find uh, some of their neighbours are more elderly or vulnerable and have assisted them with, with domestic activities such as cleaning, gardening uh, or helping them to do their shopping, for example. Some of our students have walked Oakley, our therapy dog, uh, for an hour a week to help the learning support department. We've had students who work with Mr Simpson on one of our bespoke curriculum activities after school called MOVE. We've had students successful at assisting with vaccinations at Clare Hall in Haywards Heath. A popular at activity for volunteering among our students is sports coaching. Many students will participate in outside teams and they've arranged to do some additional coaching with perhaps younger students in their, on their weekends or an evening. And of course, we have lots of guides and scout leaders. These are just a couple of examples. There really are many, many things for students to choose from. And you can find some ideas on our Twilight website. The skills section, lots of our students uh, use their language learning to support the skill. You need to be clear though, it is language learning outside of the school day. So if a student does GCSE French or Spanish, for example, as one of their options, that wouldn't count. However, if a student does Twilight GCSE French or Spanish or Latin or learns another language outside, that would qualify. We've had students who've learned to crochet, students who've uh, learned to cook, uh, they're focused on specific types of, of cooking or they're focused on preparing family meals and as I said before lots of our students will also develop their skills in terms of playing an instrument. Again more ideas on the website. 
The physical activity is the one our students often find the easiest to arrange. Many of our students will participate in team sports. They might uh, be members of our dance clubs or dance uh, outside of school. They might be concentrating on physical fitness by attending the gym or doing regular running, walking, etc. And of course, there's other individual sports such as skiing and surfing, badminton, table tennis, uh, among an array. There really is uh, there really is a wide range of things to choose from in this section also. Character for learning, you do need to be uh, committed. It does require quite a bit of time. You need to conduct yourself responsibly. That means conducting yourself uh, as a representative of Warden Park when volunteering, when on expedition, when when dealing with our expedition staff, when dealing with volunteer coordinators, we expect you to conduct yourself in the best manner possible as you are representative of Warden Park. You do need to attend all the sessions. If you don't attend the sessions, you won't be able to participate in your expedition. You do need to be committed to developing your organisational skills. One of the things students often find a challenge is getting into the habit of uploading their evidence. Getting into a good habit early will really help that aspect. And of course, you will get to develop your independence through arranging your activities, being out on expedition. All of these things will help to develop uh, not only independence, but confidence as well. Some practical information, attendance is required at sessions on specified Tuesdays. Uh, these will run throughout the year, they're not every Tuesday. There will be a period where you'll have several sessions over the course of a term, for example, and others where it will be less. It really depends on what aspect of the curriculum we're working on, but you do need to be available on Tuesdays. You also need to be available for the practice walk or the training day and the expedition dates and these can be found on our website. There is a cost involved in the Duke of Edinburgh uh, and that covers all of your uh, assessment, the expedition staff who will be assessing you on your expedition and guiding you on your training day. This also covers the registration fee that we pay to West Sussex Council to facilitate your award. We do insist upon a code of conduct which should be signed upon acceptance of the course. And just a note on the payment, it is paid over a payment plan throughout the year. Please don't let this stop you uh, from participating in the DV. Do get in touch for a confidential conversation on how we might manage to arrange the payments should you be concerned. The dates for 2023 are confirmed. The training day and practice walk is Sunday the 21st of April. It will run all day and our assessed expedition will be the weekend of the 15th and 16th of June. Do check you can attend those before signing up. These are the dates that we have been allocated. They do book out early in terms of assessors and expedition staff. So we will be unable to change these uh, throughout the year. So what to do next? You need to visit the options website and the Twilight curriculum pages. Look at the four potential areas. You do need to have an idea about what you will do before you apply, as I'll be asking you to write about your ideas in your application. So you need a short statement about an idea for volunteering, skills and physical, as well as a reflection on how you think you'll cope with the expedition. So think about those, draft them in a Google Doc before you put them into your application form and then of course go ahead and submit. I do look forward to working with as many of you as possible on the D of E. It's a great program and I encourage you to apply. Thank you for listening. <laughs>